Situated amidst an arid desert, the stunning blue pools are hard to miss. These freshwater pools, or pozas, are located in Cuatro Cienegas, a butterfly-shaped basin nestled in the mountains of northern Mexico. Over 300 pozas span the roughly 800-square-kilometer region. The area is teeming with biodiversity. A unique box turtle and other one-of-a-kind vertebrates drew researchers to the area in the 1960s. But what's kept them coming back is a little harder to spot. Compared to similar low-phosphorus salty environments, Cuatro Cienegas has an extremely high diversity of microorganisms, such as archaea and bacteria. Some of these unique microbes have been found on stromatolites, layered mounds that form from microbes binding sediment together with their sticky secretions. Stromatolites dominated coastlines over three and a half billion years ago, and were one of the first visible signs of life on early Earth. But about a billion years ago, they started to decline. Living stromatolites are extremely rare to come by, which is what attracted researchers like Valeria Souza Saldiver. Souza Saldiver has been studying the area for the past couple of decades and helmed many papers about the microbes of the area. Some are direct descendants of microbes found in the ancient ocean and deep hydrothermal vents. But throughout the duration of Souza Saldivar's time in the area, she and her team have faced an imminent threat to their research, the expansion of agriculture. In the 1970s, several canals were carved to drain water from the pozas and carry it to towns and crops in neighboring valleys, up to 80 kilometers away. In the 2000s, alfalfa fields were planted adjacent to the pozas, drawing more water from the aquifer underneath with illegal wells. The basin was declared a protected area in 1994, but only the unique species in the area were included, not the water itself. Over 90% of the marshes have disappeared, as well as El Churinse, a three-posa system. It dried up in 2016. In a race against the clock, Souza Saldiver and her team sampled as much as possible from the pools before 2016. Collaborating with over 100 researchers, they published more than 50 papers with data collected from El Churinse. What they found helped them learn more about the history of Cuatro Cienegas. They sequenced the genome of Bacillus bacteria living there and discovered links to two ancient ancestors from 680 million years ago and 160 million years ago. Those dates could be linked to the breakup of supercontinents Pangaea and Rodinia when the area was situated in a marine environment and the ancestral bacteria could have established themselves. The pozas themselves have formed more recently, on the scale of thousands of years, not millions. Active faults help push the water up from beneath the basin, and as it rises, it likely passes through ancient sediments, collecting minerals and microbes. Researchers believe that most of the pozas in the area are fed from the same source of groundwater. Souza Saldivar needed evidence to support this theory in 2006. Agricultural institutions proposed installing deep wells to water alfalfa in an adjacent valley, and locals approached her team, fearing the wells would dry up their pozas. Despite claims that El Undido Valley had its own separate water reserve, Souza Saldivar compared samples from three valleys, El Undido, Calaveras Valley, and Cuatro Cienegas. She found a highly similar bacterial composition among them, suggesting that the pozas from the three valleys are linked by a connected source. Managing the water not just inside, but outside the basin, might be crucial to protecting these unique pools. As of July 2020, there are plans to close one of the major canals in Cuatro Cienegas, as well as regulate illegal groundwater wells which have popped up throughout the basin. The future of the area is bright, Souza Saldivar and her team have been training local students how to sample and analyze the pozas, leaving them with the tools to continue to protect this place for decades to come.